What is up, you guys? My name is Swergy, and today I have a dual commentary for you guys. I have a special guest with me. Why don't you go and introduce yourself? Hey, guys. My name is Matt J. Village, and I'm one of Swergy's uh, friends, basically. All right, yeah, so we've known each other for a long time. Uh, probably, you know, maybe ugh, four or five months, maybe, at the most. And uh, we play Xbox sometimes and, you know, talk over YouTube. And he's also a commentator like me, so he's very, very cool. But uh, today we're going to be talking about how he started gaming and uh, what he does on YouTube and his goals for YouTube. So first things first, how did you start gaming? Well, I was brought up in, this kind of sounds weird because I'm like a gamer, but uh, an all like girl family, I only have like sisters. They were into like Crash Bandicoot and Spyro on the PlayStation 1. I was playing that when I was about four or five probably, in the late 90s, early 2000s. Yeah. And from there, I went and bought a PlayStation 2 because my cousin, who um, we go up and visit him sometimes, he he's like really into gaming. He's not so much anymore, but he used to play RPGs like Final Fantasy. And I started off by just playing Final Fantasy X is probably my favorite game because it's just it's one of the first like proper games that got me into gaming. And I didn't play a first-person shooter for till years after that. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much how I started. I've pretty much, like, never played uh, the Final Fantasy games at all. So, what is that like? Like, what is Final Fantasy? It's just... Well, they, they started off... The very first one was, like, in the NES. It was really early on. But I never... The first one I played was 10, and then I played 9. And it's basically... It's just got a really good storyline to it. And the sort of leveling up system, which has been, like... All, all modern games have taken from it. For example, in... Call of Duty, you level up, you unlock new stuff. That's originally taken from the RPG, the elements of the RPG, and that's just something I really enjoy about it. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty impressive. I should try that out for sure. Sounds like a lot of fun. Um, so let's talk about how you started YouTube. Yeah, so when I, a few years ago, when I started Xbox, it was a couple of I'd say about six months after I started Xbox, which was around halfway through Modern Warfare 2's like lifespan, I started to watch like a couple of montages, and then I used to be really into like Hutch and C Nanas because they were like the original yeah, commentators, weren't they? Yeah, and um, I used to watch them, but I never like had a YouTube account. I just like watched them, and then after uh, Black Ops came out, I was like, yeah, I really want to get into this, so I went and bought myself a, well I got a PVR for Christmas, uh, last Christmas, it's about almost a year since I've started my channel now. I got that last Christmas and it's just been going ever since. That sounds like a pretty cool story. Um, so, <laughs> what, do you, what do you do on YouTube? Like, what is your what is your primary goals on YouTube? I started off as just kind of like messing around fun really, but I suppose the ultimate goal for like maybe everyone is partnership fame and all but wherever it takes me I don't mind I just I'll keep doing it I just like to have someone who I don't know enjoying my content that's that's pretty cool so do you like primarily do commentaries montages um, what's that well I started off just editing really I'm not sure I never really got into editing but everyone used to tell me I was pretty good at it and then I used to do a couple of contests I did a contest for my friend and then I kind of started editing, then I was like, no, I don't really want to do this as much. I want to start commentating. So I did a few of those, and I wasn't as good as I was at editing. So now I just I commentate occasionally, and I still do edit every now and again, but just not as much as I used to. You are a pretty good commentator, though, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I was starting to watch oh, your stuff, and uh, <laughs> you're really not bad. And uh, I enjoy that from you. I like how you have a lot of different variety on your channel. Like, you have commentaries, montages, edits. I think that's really, really cool. Give me your top three favorite commentators. Maybe number one would possibly be... Do you know who Syndicate is, yeah? Yes. I suppose that but that could just be like a sense of British pride, because I, <laughs> I know he's he kind of got me into zombies as well. Like I started watching his stuff, and I was like, oh, I want to be good at zombies. And then zombies is when I started to get back into Black Ops, because I hated that game. I stopped playing it from about Christmas time last year. I stopped playing it until about... February time, but then I started to get into zombies and I started playing it more and more, and it's not that bad a game. Yeah, that's really. Yeah, I understand yeah. that for sure. Okay, so um, let's see here. What do you think about Modern Warfare Three? Do you think it has a lot of flaws, or uh, you know, what do you, what's your opinion on that? Well, it it changes quite a lot, but 
I suppose overall what they've done is a, it's a good game and I enjoy it but it's kind of I think they released a half broken game because some of there's just some major flaws in there that kind of make it unplayable what is your favorite game type on there are you liking drop zone yeah drop zone is pretty fun it's kind of it's weird though because it is a private match game mode and it's just it's it's kind of weird I mean it's enjoyable but it's difficult to play does it rank you up quick yeah, it does. If you're holding the objective, you get 20 XP a second, but it's quite difficult to constantly hold the objective. Yeah, I've never actually played the game, so I would have no idea. Can you explain a little bit like what you're supposed to do and how it works? So it's a bit like Headquarters, but instead of there being like a solid square care package type thing, it's like it's just like a radius, and when you're in the radius, you get each team player in the radius gets 20 points per second, so the score like flies up very fast. There's whoever's holding the objective, the care packages are getting constantly dropped in for their side. The main player who earns the care package, they it's primarily theirs, but it can be shared between the team and all. It's very hectic because it's just basically constantly kill streaks going around really. It sounds like a pretty cool game type. I will for sure try that out. But uh, anyway guys, this commentary is wrapping up. I do hope you enjoyed this dual commentary. I'm thinking about doing some more here in the future and uh, maybe you'll see Matt a few more times. But um, anyway, go ahead and sign out, Matt. Say what you want to say. Yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. Maybe check out my channel in the description. And um, have a nice day. Thanks for watching, you guys.